Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and LandandAirPhotos.com. I don't know how to reconnect the rubber dampers on a Typhoon H or Q500 gimbal, but my wife does, and in this episode she's going to show you how. This episode is part of a series of videos designed to help you fly your unique drone. This applies to the unique Typhoon H and Q500. Let's get started with how to reconnect the unique gimbal damper. The rubber dampers on your Seago 3 and Seago 3 Plus gimbal do a great job of absorbing shakes to give you a smooth video. But they have a bad habit of becoming disconnected, especially on the Typhoon H. My wife figured out a good way to reconnect the gimbal dampers and she's going to show you how to do it. First, I'll detach the camera from the Typhoon H. At the bottom of the camera, at the top of the gimbal, a plastic piece sticks out. The center of this piece can be depressed. When you push down this center, you can slide your camera forward and remove it from the body of the drone. Note that on a Q500 4K, the process is the same, but you must also unplug the cable that connects the camera to the drone. The next step applies only to the Typhoon H. On the Seago 3 Plus, there is a plastic cover on the top of the gimbal which must be removed. Insert your thumbnail into the gap between the top plate and the rest of the gimbal and pull out slightly. You can then depress the top plate and gently work it off. From here the process is the same for the Typhoon H and the Q500. Take a piece of dental floss. My wife swears by waxed. Feed the end of the floss through the hole on the gimbal where you will attach the damper. Now take the other end of the floss and wrap it around the top of the damper. Don't tie it. Just wrap the floss around a couple of times and pull gently to squeeze the damper down so it will fit through the hole. Gently pull the damper up through the hole with the floss. You may need to poke the top of the damper with your finger to work it through the opening. By the way, everything in this whole process should be done carefully. The dampers are very easy to tear. Once the damper is through the hole, pull or unwind the floss from around the damper. When the floss pulls free, the damper expands and the task is finished. Now she'll go through this process again to reattach the other end of the damper to the other side of the gimbal. Feed the floss through the hole. This time she takes the end she just fed through the hole and threads it around the damper a couple of times and pulls gently to constrict it to a smaller size. This is probably the trickiest part of the process. Pull the damper through the hole with the floss. When it's through, pull off or unwind the floss from the damper. The damper is now reattached. Now, since this is the camera for a Typhoon H, she has to put the gimbal top back on the gimbal and click it into place. You wouldn't do this with a Q500. Time to put the camera back on the drone. On the bottom of the drone, you'll see two tracks with grooves for the gimbal to slide into. From the front, 
slide the gimbal backward on those two grooves until it clicks into place. You'll know it's set when you tug forward on the gimbal and it doesn't move. If you're working on a Q500, be sure to plug in the cable from the camera to the drone. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. Links to more drone training videos are on screen, so be sure to check them out. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button, and be sure to leave a comment or a question below. Also, I just set up a Facebook group for my subscribers. Click the link in the description below and sign up. Thanks for watching.